good morning crypto world so we did get the ppi data out it came in at 4.6 percent while the expectations was 5.4 percent and as michael has stated here that was a massive miss resulting in the inflation coming down and we can actually ask ourselves family has inflation peaked we got um a um you know, well, the, the CPI was pretty much as expected, but this is the core PPI here. And it's good to see that inflation is heading to the downside. So maybe we are at the nasty end of inflation, but we'll just have to see what Powell chooses to do as far as the federal rate hike. And my question to you, family, will he do a 0.25? Will he do a 0.50, which I don't think nobody thinks he's going to do at this point after breaking the banks? Or will he just pause? pivot or cut i'd love to know you guys opinions in the comments also check out the links in the descriptions and make sure that you like and subscribe engage with the video now i did find it a little funny that a lot of people in the tech market they're literally arguing of who fought the banking collapse was so svb bank here so some people are saying well it is the regulators fault it is the government's fault for injecting so um, you know so much money trillions uh, trillions of dollars into the market um through stimulus and other various loans some people are saying it's the uh tech guys false um, fault for um, mismanagement some people are blaming the banks you know everybody is pointing fingers at each other so the question is is how how bad will the banking crisis really affect the economy now a lot of people look as a at a fed rate pause as bullish but you got to understand what a pause signals family is a financial stability problem which is not necessarily bullish for stocks if we get a pause it shows that the fed could have possibly broke something which means we could in reality actually be in a recession even though when they start saying we're in a recession we're literally in a recession six months prior to it everybody actually stating that we're in a recession so we'll just have to see what um joe biden and jay powell um if they're bullish if they're dovish i love to see their reactions man i seen of joe biden literally walk off the stage after two minutes of talking about the bank crisis like look man we're going to take care of this everybody's going to be um um reimbursed and the people that's responsible uh, responsible for this will hold accountability then the guy just kind of like walked off the stage so we have to see the fed could pivot from its aggressive rate hikes due to the looming financial stability we are literally seeing something in the financial um economy here break which were banks we literally had three banks fall ironically family three of them were crypto banks and now we're even getting uh, bank banks like the european bank also um starting to fall it literally looks like a a uh a uh, meme coin that got rug pulled if you go look at that bank it literally looks like a meme coin that got rug pulled here and shark tank of all people shark tank star kevin o'leary says he would never invest in bank stocks again after the aftermath here of silicon valley bank failure last week the chairman of o'leary ventures told cnn on monday that the federal rescue by depositors at s VB and Signature Bank means President Joe Biden has effectively nationalized the bank industry. So, you know, uh, <laughs> Kevin O'Leary comes off as a very conservative guy. He's one of those people that believes um, whatever you work for, you eat and you hold accountability. Unfortunately, he got wrecked with FTX and he's like, look, I got wrecked with FTX and crypto. There's no way that, you know, we're bailing out the banks here. But you got to understand that crypto family is the wild, wild, S wild, wild west. There is no fdic insurance so you got to keep that in mind he says you have zero risk and that has consequences o'leary said there is no such thing as a free lunch and there and this is going to be very expensive for shareholders of bank long term i would never put my money into a bank stock again so the elites seem to feel like they'll have to hold the bag here and as many people rush to kind of figure out who will bail out the bailouters okay so if we are bailing out these banks who will get charged for this most people think that they will get taxed biden came out and says taxpayers won't have to pay this but again you know it's, it's always an underlining uh underlying should i say uh narrative there that we'll just have to you know seep through as time goes on so this is kind of ironic though <laughs> kevin o'leary pissed that banks got bailed out and he didn't get bailed out with ftx that's really what it's about now we can see here that the um cme group fed 2 fed 2 is 
pricing in a Fed pause family. Yes, for the first time, 64% of the experts are pricing in that the Fed is pausing federal rate hikes and that 35% feel like we will do a 0.25. So that is that is different. That is different. And again, um, for the last six months, this is what we've been looking for. You know, this is what we've been saying will be the turning point to cryptocurrency and the bull run. And now we're at the cusp of where Bitcoin, Ethereum and altcoins will be forced to prove themselves on. Um, will humans here finally understand that um, financial freedom and financial sovereignty starts here with Bitcoin and moves into cryptos and altcoins. So again, we'll just have to see if a lot of that liquidity here pours into Bitcoin. We are seeing that the markets seem like they want to kind of like price in some of this pain. And it's a lot of um, uncertainty, definitely a lot of uncertainty with another bank going down this morning. And yeah, the uh, what's it said? The uh, the uh, the Credit Suisse bank here is the one that's actually failing. And they were looking to get bailed out by the Saudi Saudis. But the Saudis said they will not invest anymore. Um, you're pretty much on your own. Credit Suisse, pack it up. Pack it up. <laughs> Looks like Credit Suisse is about to rug and the Saudi says they won't help out or invest here. So we're starting to see a little pain in the market being priced in from the S&P to down and NASDAQ. And again, you got to understand that a lot of this, this pause, this pivot, this cut stuff is not necessarily bullish for the stock market um, short term. Now, long term, yes, but not short term we'll actually be covering a little bit more information on the vix as we cover this video but it could be bullish for crypto short term but eventually the pain can again become coupled with crypto but i'd like to know you guys opinion do you think bitcoin has finally decoupled from the s p dow i'd love to know you guys opinions in the comments so yeah we had another bank um pretty much fail um we had signature silvergate pretty much fail and now people are saying well hey where will um these crypto companies bank with in the u.s and will it be liquidity issues i'll let you guys answer that one you can see here that the dollar index is sitting at 104 but what is concerning is that the vix here is spiking which usually when we see the vix spike it means that we might get a little pain so i don't think we're in that position for me personally i like the vix if i'm gonna be bullish i like the vix to be around it anywhere between 18 and lower right now we're at 26 um for example if you look at the three-year chart we got this huge spike right here in march 2020 this was around the um uh, cvid time right here and you know this was when everything fell so usually when you get these spikes to the to the upside family you know that's when you know like we're at that capitulation moment you see just um in october we were just sitting at 30 and that's when you see a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of that um the uh, cryptos and traditional uh, stocks here had sold off but we didn't really get a spike from banking you know i would ex you know <laughs> if if they're saying that these were the biggest banks that, since 2008 to actually collapse it's kind of amazing that we didn't get a a a a a big spike to the upside on the vix which is um a uh, tool here a metric here that um measures volatility so again when you see the volatility um anywhere like 18 or lower you know what i'm saying right around here 15 is very very bullish a lot of people making moves in the crypto project when we got low volatility you know um buying selling and taking profits but up here you know it's a lot of pain but again this is when the opportunists take advantage of the lows nobody really knows if it's the low but what our opportunities do is they take advantage of the lows. And for instance, the people that bought at the peak of the VIX March 2020 made a shitload of money on the way back down as cryptocurrency rebounded. So just keep that in mind. The VIX is not like, oh, where, where there's bears or bullish. It's all about time in the VIX and understanding uh, your, your, your situation and where you're at personally so we'll just have to keep an eye on the vix we will monitor that and again you can see here the dxy sitting at 104 the tether dominance has lowered to 6.72 percent so we are seeing some liquidity here being poured back into bitcoin and crypto so we'll just have to see how the market plays out i'm very interested in seeing how some of our favorite altcoins play out because we didn't get 
Um, we didn't get a we didn't get a run yet from the altcoins. So we saw a lot of dominance here with Bitcoin, but we didn't yet get a run with the altcoins. Some of my favorite altcoins like um, Dogalaw Mars and even Tonic here. So um, interesting developments. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Alex Becker. Alex Becker seems to think that we're we're still bearish. You know, saying he, he thinks like, hey, you know, Bitcoin hasn't has yet to prove itself to be in that true safe haven and it might be but it still has to prove itself so are you bearish are you bullish on the crypt current crypto space and um the macro environment what we're going on with the banking crisis um i'd love to know you guys opinions in the comments make sure you interact check out the links in the description it really really helps out and be looking for um the videos throughout the day i will be, probably be doing a live stream a little bit early um where we'll be talking about if elon dog mars needs burns and i'm very excited to talk to the community about that so check out the links leave a comment engage with the video this was the crypto morning update it's your boy soap guys tv millie i'm out